Good morning. I am trying my little camera out and seeing how the video does. These are my beautiful blue hydrangeas that are just turning blue. You know, when I got ready to sell my house, I thought, oh, I'll really miss seeing my garden. But I've been really lucky this year so far. Things are blooming and I'm getting to enjoy them. So I'm giving you just a quick peek of my garden. And then I might just sit down and do a little painting. It's early morning, my day lilies aren't quite open yet. Peekaboo! Peekaboo! now on the back side of my pond and I think my subject today is going to be these beautiful pitcher plants that are in the bog of my pond garden. I think that's the nature I'm going to paint today. My moleskin journal and I'm gonna do a little bit of color on here today. So recently I put a post up on Facebook about what do you do to stay sane in today's crazy world. Um, this being solstice, summer solstice 2018. Our world is pretty crazy right now and there's a lot of people who are affected quite a bit by what's going on in the world today. What is it that you do to stay sane? I paint in nature. I'm going to give this page a, just a little spritz because I want this to be a little loose. And I'm using a green gold. I think this is probably Daniel Smith color. So. A lot of people said they go out in nature to keep their sanity in crazy times. And I too am one of those. I am still here in Oregon, in my casita, in McMinnville, getting ready to go on the road. Um, that's a pretty exciting thing. But in the meantime, I've been picking and putting and getting ready, moving things, getting rid of things, all those things one does when they get ready to transition. But like I say, with all the craziness, especially in the, new, in the United States right now, sometimes I just get so heart heavy that it really makes it hard. Those are the times I grab my brushes and my dog and we take a walk in the park or just go out in nature for the day. Um, again, when I took that poll on Facebook, a lot of people said they go out in their garden or go for a walk, go paddle on the river, whatever, whatever it is that they needed to do. So I got to thinking about that and did a little bit of research. And what I found out is that when we're in nature, the synapses in the part of our brain 
where empathy is, is what's firing while we're out in nature. So I think a lot of us that spend our time in nature to get sane again, do that and make our brain much happier. It also makes us more available and more empathetic to those things that are happening in our world. I've added a little undersea green to this, and I'm getting a little darker in places. And again, this is a sketch, so I'm not worried about it being perfect. Just kind of capturing the essence of these little bog plants that are in my garden. And as you see, I'll come back and wet an area and move things around a little bit. Also, when you're doing things like this, a lot of us try to make it perfect. And one thing I'm learning is it's really more visually interesting if you leave it partway done and maybe not finish it all the way. Let one's imagination finish coloring it. So what is it, what is it that you do to stay sane in today's craziness? Are you one of those that takes a walk in nature? Have a cup of coffee? Spend time in your journal creating? What is it that you do? I'm looking forward to being on the road. I actually am signing for my new RV today. That's pretty exciting. I'll be doing that this afternoon, so I thought I'd catch this real quick. But I did find it quite interesting about the uh, empathetic part of the brain that gets fired when we're out in nature and how that all works. These little guys have a lot of red in them, a lot of red veins. These are a, a kind of pitcher plant, don't remember the genus or the scientific name or even the common name for that matter. But they grow in my pond here in Oregon all year round. I don't bring them in. I know some people do, but these guys have been living in this pond for a while. I don't know if you can hear it, but I'm enjoying the pond trinkling and tinkling in the background as I play. Now I know that green and red is going to make a little bit of brown. So I'm trying to leave a little bit of areas for that red to come in so I get the idea of red in there and not that total brown that might show up. Gosh, we've had 80 degree days lately, and here today, the day I want to paint, it's probably in the 60s. Very cloudy overcast, so I apologize for the light on this video, but I hope you can see what I'm doing. Yeah, summer solstice, welcome. There's a little red veining going on there. These are the guys that um, catch the flies. So this little red entices them in to the bottom of the pitcher plant so they can become lunch. Again, I'm not going for perfection. I'm just going for the feeling, the gist of this plant. It's been kind of fun recording places that I love here in Oregon before I start traveling. Been to a lot of my favorite parks with my pup as we get chased out for realtor showings. Ah. 
Enjoying the sound of that puddle going over there. The pond gurgling. There, I like that better. Maybe just a little bit more dark right in there to give it that illusion of diving into the depths of the of the plant. So I do hope you take time today to do whatever it is that you do to stay sane in our crazy world. Again, try taking a walk. Enjoy your neighborhood. See what's out there in the natural world. Give your chance your brain a chance to reset. So there's my quick sketch for today in my sketchbook. Thanks for coming along, and maybe next time I talk to you, I'll be on the road. Enjoy your day, and keep your brushes wet.